And hi everyone, we are live once again. This is Jen and Delphine coming to you live from Singapore. And uh, for those who are watching us for the first time, uh, I'm a single working mom to two teenage boys. And uh, Delphine is also a mom to yeah. three children, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, and if you know, have been watching us for, for quite a while, you'll know that we are also um, working online as our side hustle. And if you have been watching us, you know that every Monday we have our go live uh, session. However, today is Tuesday and we also want to share that, you know, thank you for waiting for us today and something unexpected happened and we have to postpone today. And that's what we love about our business. It's so flexible. Yeah, so without further ado, today we are coming live to you to share about our this series where we talk about the struggles of stay-at-home mom, right? Mm -hmm. um, right. So, you know, as stay-at-home moms, we all have different, different things that we are all faced with. So actually, last week, we, we spoke about um, how a lot of parents stay at home and then they worry about no income and they worry about not enough funds, etc. So today we are going to talk about um, sandwich generation for um, stay-at-home parents and how they often prioritize their kids' needs among themselves, right? Above themselves. I think. Right. So um, maybe I check in with Delphine. I know Delphine is feeling a bit tired <laughs> these two days because <laughs> It has been uh, feeling unwell, right? So, and that's like a very typical thing that we all face, right? Uh, as sandwich generation. It is not necessary about stay-at-home parents, but generally for our age group, we are always stuck in between. <laughs> so maybe I'd like Delphine, you know, share with us a little bit more about this. Yeah. Um, for me, I actually I have two siblings. I have two elder siblings. So if talking about you know, um, I think sandwich generation. I think the toughest part uh, is actually with those um, that are single child. You know, because I have friends um, you know who are single child and they have elderly parents that they have to look after, um, even though they are married. You know, and you know they have their own family. They also have their old age parents, which they have to also look after. As the old age parents are usually, you know, at that age they are really retired. So trying to manage um, actually both sides, uh, I think it's not easy. For me, I think I'm I'm one of the fortunate bunch that uh, one of the fortunate ones uh, that have two elder siblings uh, who is doing actually very very much better than me. <laughs> okay, so I do not have to worry much about my retired parents you know because mm. um my brothers they can provide much more better um than me to to my parents of course we do contribute as well you know but of course um you know um as in uh, how much we contribute it depends on how much we actually earn as well you know and with three kids um in 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 a household like mine you know i have three kids and uh, although both of us are working, my husband and I are working, but we are definitely compared to my brothers who are doing business are not that well off compared to them. Yeah, but of course, you know, uh, we still have to do a part, our part as, uh, you know, as children, you know, to our parents because they have actually, you know, worked so much harder during our, when we are much younger. And to us, I think, uh, I, I don't know whether do I call it, um, traditional or I feel that we have to play a part as children to actually you know take care of our parents when they are old same things yeah. as you know when when I'm getting old I, of course I hope that my kids will actually take care of us as well but needless to say when they are at at uh, when we are older when we are old and my our kids are grown up then I wouldn't think that it's affordable for them you know because yeah. as the inflations are getting you know very much worsened compared to the past i i fear actually for them to actually not be able to actually support themselves you know in the years to come or in future because everything is so expensive you know be it getting a house you know uh you know trying to um, have a start a family you know trying to 
you know, put meals to, 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 to the table for their children, I think they will have a lot of lot more difficulties compared to us right now because everything is escalating, you know, being housing loans, you know, food, education, everything. That is why, you know, I started this digital business to actually build this legacy business actually for them as well so that it is of a lot of, you know, suffering or a lot of, um, I think, uh, headaches or financial uh, burdens for them in future because this right. can actually build financial abundance for them as a legacy business when they are a grown up. So they that's can also pass on to their children as well. Yeah, so that's, that's why uh, when we yeah when we both uh, when Jenna and I both started this business, this is something that is very crucial for us because we know that in the event if really really anything happened to us, especially for Jen who is a single parent, you know she definitely have to think much much more uh, than me compared to me who I have a husband. Okay, she has to think a lot of lot more uh, for her for both her boys. You know what is going to happen to them in future in the event when she's not around Absolutely. you know when the national yeah burdens are there you know when the kids are grown up how are the kids going to survive so this is something that i think we need to think a lot a lot more so ahead of being yes. a sandwich generation of course you know i want my kids to be able to take care of me as well you know when i'm getting oh you know we all yeah. want that yeah regardless of how much the monetary is, but i think this is for me, I'm a very traditional person. I think this is a tradition that I want to bring down to my yes. children. Yeah, because I thought that it's, it's a very good tradition. You know, it, it doesn't matter how much it is that they can actually give it to us. That's why I'm also using this digital business to build retirement fund for myself as well. So that I am not a burden to my children in the future. Yes. You know, being yes. them, they will be the next sandwich generation. Yeah, that they have to take care of us. As well, they are all family as well. Yeah, what do you think, Jen? I, I really like you the way you share, right? Not just about our generation, we don't want our kids to be stuck in that generation. Yeah, and I, I just think that for now, right? As much as a lot of let's say for us, uh, we want to be present for our children, right? So there will also come be a come a day there where our we have aging parents, we want to be present for our aging parents as well right so you know now we've got many people who are sandwiched in this situation where they have no choice but to send their kids to student care because they cannot take care of their children and then the same group of people like us working middle class people right sandwich in between they have no choice but to send their parents to the senior daycare center because they cannot afford time with their children and then they also cannot afford time to look after their aged parents at home so they have to send them to the elder day care so this is something that is very very real and it's very very sad right that imagine in life we cannot be present for our children and we cannot be present for our for our parents and it um, it struck me actually just right before our session today is like um, I came across someone who was just sharing with me that um, and I used to be like that. Uh, their kids were in student care. Told the told my friend that if you continue sending me to the student care, next time when you grow up, I'm going to send you to the elder care center. So exactly that's what my kid used to tell me. <laughs> so then my this friend said that she's because of this right she got triggered she said oh then it made her realize that she really needs to spend time with her children and at the same time she realized that she needs to spend time with her aged parents so this is very real and in fact last week i've got a new business owner who joined me um on this this business because she has a aging parent who also have some health issues and she does the business because she wants to be able to spend time taking care of her parents so that's how she wants to earn online and want the flexibility and i am pretty impressed by you know how motivated she is to run this business because of her parents so many of us want to do it because of our children but yeah we can do it for our own other reasons right 
And mm. honestly, as I mean, that's how also it leads to like as many parents like us, we often put our needs the lowest. We will always prioritize our children's needs, be it be it food, be it clothing, be it uh, entertainment or whatsoever. Everything is children first. Ours always come last. It happens to me all the so many years until recently I begin to change. So I'm not sure how about you, Delphine. Do you used to be like that as well? Or maybe not used to, maybe <laughs> even till now. <laughs> I think it's quite common, uh, you know, for parents to actually always put their children, you know, above themselves you know because uh, you know to us uh we give birth to them we want everything the best for them and also i think um we felt um guilty because we are not there for them most of the time so it's right. like a replacement you know whatever you give them be it a gift be it a treat or whatever you felt that okay uh you could, could have given he, you gave him or her a gift or a treat it kind of eased off your your parents guilt that you are not being there for them but i personally I, I did that you know i did that previously because i find that that is the only way or that could be the best way that i can do you know as a parent or as a mom um you know to show um, how i how much i love them and yes. you know how much in, how important they are to me but i never felt that you know actually my presence to them is actually most important what they actually want is actually someone especially parents to be there to listen to them to talk to them just like our old age parents you know yeah. i was um, having this conversation with my girl that day she went for a holiday with uh my neighbor uh, family because uh, they asked her to to come along because she is really a fun girl so they felt that with her present things you know the trip will be more lively yeah. so like, usually they bring her along so they went for a three day two night uh trip to just jb yeah so tag along was um the neighbor mother so um, she was when after she came back from the trip, she was telling me that uh, this ama, you know, um, keep uh, finding for finding problem, keep, you know, talking about things, and then everybody got so angry with her during the trip. I was asking my girl, do you know why she do that? She just need attention. Yeah. You know, parents, you know, we, we same for us. I, I think you know, it's same for us when we are getting old, especially when I'm getting older. <laughs> I felt that you know, my parents, my my time with my kids especially when they speak to me is getting much much lesser and lesser especially as they grow older they yeah. don't talk to us as much as yeah they are younger yeah so when there are times we always try to find something to actually talk to them so same things for our parents as well so i was telling her do you know why this ama do that because she needs attention she needs people to talk to she wants you know, she, she just needs someone to talk to her because back home, like what Jen said, probably when they are in the daycare, nobody actually talk to them. But what they need the most actually is family love and family present to be there. That is yeah. just that simple. Yeah. So yeah. even though we prioritize ourselves more above more than our children, I think the first thing that we need to do is prioritize ourselves first. Because when we love ourselves, when we are happy, then we can actually give whatever happiness or whatever things that we our children needs to them they don't right. need our the gifts they don't need your treats what they yes. actually need is actually just our presence for them they just yes. need a hearing ears they just need someone to talk to them you know to listen to them grumble or whatever just you know a listening ears and they just need us to be there physically which right. is why right. yeah jen and us is actually starting on this business to actually build more time that we can have with our children. How do we do that, actually? You might be thinking that, okay, we are both working. Then how is this going to work? That is the time when we actually start to quit our job after we have built this business. Okay, for us, we wouldn't mind when we have dual income. Who would mind, actually? You know, yeah. you can yes. mind to have dual income? You have your full-time income? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who would mind, you know, when we have dual income? You can have from your day job, if you still love have passion for your work just like us you know we still love our work we still want that you know um that that um 
you know that corporate communication with our colleagues you know we don't want to get um you know lost in the corporate work uh get lost in the society we still want to keep in touch with it so we still love our job we can still earn from our day job we can still build this digital business within focus yes. of our time yeah right. exercise so it doesn't uh hinder us but mm -hmm. at the same time it escalates our progression to actually have an early retirement and to quit our job at the same time so exactly. be it so we are a sandwich generation or we prioritize our children's needs you know but we are escalating this process as well yeah so yeah. you could see us maybe you know in two to three years time my target is actually in five years time to actually quit my job that is actually earlier than singapore retirement age of 63. so you will yeah. see me there too <laughs> Yeah, so so regardless whether you are a stay-at-home parent who wants to take care of your young kids or your kids, or be it you just need to be stay-at-home to look after your own parents, you know, um, um, basically as long as you need to have some sort of your own commitment to do your own things, but still want to be able to earn a sustainable income, right at your flexible hours um it's probably something that worth exploring right if we can do it i know i'm sure there's many out there uh many people out there who can do it so we would like then to invite all of you who's watching us to actually register for a free webinar that we will actually share with you uh what is this uh, online business space about so you get a little bit more details or simply just connect with either one of us will be really happy to be able to share uh, how these have uh, changed our lives and how these can change your lives too yes correct so don't worry if you don't have experience so both of us don't have experience we're very good at our own day job that's all and we are very good as a mom okay but we know nuts about you know running a digital business or being an entrepreneur so we all step in you know by registering for the webinar we look through the webinar and we find that this is something that we could actually build an extra income online okay online is the uh, a very is in trend right now you know building an extra income so if we can have extra income at the focus of your time you know uh be it you're a stay-at-home mom looking after your children you know or looking after your old age parents you can still run this business because it really doesn't take much of your time you could be surprised yeah. how much yeah how much time you just need to actually spend on it for us you know being a full-time working mom being a full-time uh you know do we have to look after our children at the same time we only take you know one two hours a day if you can spend that one two hours a day you know looking through your social media you can do the same because social media is the platform that we are leveraging on because everybody is on social media now you wouldn't see anybody not on social media nowadays so this is the best platform to actually take leverage of it and the automated system that is helping you to run this business so don't tell us that you don't have much time you could actually explore this and see and really see how much time you actually really need to spend okay the right. webinar is really fantastic okay it gives you most of the information that there is but if you need further information to clarify with us you know just feel free to talk to us you know register for the webinar and we will share more information with you okay so otherwise we will check out with you next week again on next monday for another topic on a struggle with stay-at-home parents so well then do think through okay and we will catch up with you next week see you bye, bye.